Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the brand new Rat9 gaming mouse from Cyborg, the Mad Cat's company. Uh, we'll begin by opening up the box. One plastic tab at the bottom. I lied. Three plastic tabs around the top. Then we will be taking out, taking off the plastic cover and removing the uh, the Rat9 mouse itself, which has a uh, twist tie on the bottom. Wow! Already, I can tell you this mouse is going to be really heavy. Set that aside for now. Coming back into the box, we will uh, find an orange tray inside, which we can then lift out. And inside, we will find some looks like some software for the hotkeys, I'm sure. And actually, at the bottom, a really nice foam base with everything organized very well. We've got our cyborg metal tin which I'm told has the uh, extra attachments and so forth for your mouse. Let's look inside. There we go. We've got the uh, hot swap for our weights or the, the holder for our weights, the different uh, pinky thumb attachments, then the different grips for the palm of your, or excuse me, for the uh, base of your hand. Then we've got uh, our USB stand here. Oh, really nice USB cable. Uh, so it looks like braided cloth on top of the plastic cord itself. Uh, and this will hold your, your weights and then your hot swap. Looks like uh, either LiPoly or NICAD, some kind of rechargeable battery. Let's see if we can see on the actual battery itself. It's kind of buried way down in here. Looks like these are lithium ion 3.7 volt hot swappable batteries. Here's the silver one. And we've got to shake it a little bit to get the orange one out. So uh, that's everything out of the box. So let's lay it all out and take a look at it. We've got the uh, Rat9 mouse itself. Two hot swappable batteries, we've got the dock, we've got the 10 with its extra pieces, and the software. So that's everything that comes in the uh, brand new packaging for the, uh, the Rat9 mouse by Cyborg. So here we go, um, we've unboxed the Rat9 and uh, after about 30 minutes of Counter-Strike, a couple of games. I got all the settings to my liking. Um, as you can see, I have uh, added the, uh, the new pinky piece here. And uh, I've slid back the, uh, the palm area here and widened out the thumb rest. Uh, I've loaded the, the software onto my machine, and i got to say, it's, uh, it's all right. Um, although the customization that you can do within it is pretty nice. You have a uh, multiple profile set up here where you can click this button and you can be a purple, red, or a blue profile. You also have an indicator on the side telling you your current sensitivity. You can uh, raise and lower that on the fly. I do have to say uh, one thing that a lot of people have talked about, but I don't understand how I ever lived without, is this, uh, this red button right here that will actually half the DPI, or you can set it to whatever rating you would like, uh, on the fly. So whenever you're going in for those really tight sniper shots, uh, you got to love it. It's, a, it's an awesome little feature. Uh, to compare it, my previous mouse was the Logitech MX Revolution, which is uh, comparable in price depending on where you purchase it. And I got to say, I really, really, really like the Rat9. Um, they both kind of had the, the same thumb rests and the same positioning controls for uh, forward and back. However, of course, the, uh, the scroll wheels are in a little bit different position. Um, also, this one only has clicking, so you only have uh, index scrolling here where you can click and then you get the uh, the full spin where it actually releases. 
Overall, I give this mouse a 9 out of 10. It's amazing. You got to try it. And uh, if you can't afford it, you should definitely try and find a demo at uh, your local tech shop and give it a shot. You'll really like it. Thanks again.